I'm Scott Weichel. You're listening to My Kind of Country, and our interview with Lacey J. Dalton is coming up next. And I do want to say an apology if you hear some static in there. We had some technical difficulties on this interview, and we tried to redo it, and just a whole comedy of errors happened. So we're going to air what we have of the interview, and we're going to play some of the great music from her debut album, Jill Croston. So Lacey J. Dalton coming up. And again, I apologize for any of the uh, technical issues issues that we had but we got what we could so i hope you'll enjoy this interview with lacey j dalton hey everybody i'm scott weichel you're listening to my kind of country thanks so much for joining us on a monday night my guest tonight is one of my very favorite people in the world to talk to she was on recently and we debuted a brand new song that she's released and tonight we're going to talk about her very very first album that is being released on star vista music how you can stream it anywhere you stream your music. And we debuted a song from that on our Facebook page on Friday, which I was so excited to do. And tonight we've got the lady herself here. We're going to talk about the album and play some more of the great cuts on it for you. It's a pleasure to welcome Lacey J. Dalton back to My Kind of Country. Lacey, how are you tonight? Oh, Scott, I am. Uh, I couldn't be better. I'm, I, if, uh, we just came back from a, a kind of a bit of a tour in the... Uh, Wyoming and Montana, and we were there at the perfect time of the year. It had just started to snow just a little bit, but we saw all the aspens and had turned, and oh, it was just it was just beautiful. We uh, we had a wonderful trip, and the new music that I'm writing for the uh, Black Sheep Project that we talked about um, a long time ago, and you released uh, the song of uh, the Devil by a Different Name. Those songs, they're they have a bit of they're a little controversial, and I was so thrilled to be out in a very, very conservative part of the country, really conservative, very evangelical part of the country, and uh, to release these songs and I, at every show but one, which was a, a private party, uh, but in the theaters and in the places where we played, we had standing ovations in the middle of the show for these new songs. So people are really hearing, they're getting the message and they're hearing it loud and clear, and um, I'm, I'm I'm very thrilled because the, the messengers are, are songs, things that we need to remember right now. That's for sure. We need to remember, you know, to that, uh, you know, um, with all the divisiveness and the, and the uh, um, separation of uh, between people now, people not being able to have Thanksgiving dinner with one another because their political parties are different. I mean, that is so silly. Yeah. That is just not, that's not very American. That's if we're sure. doing that, we are, first of all, if we're calling ourselves Christians, we're not walking that talk very well. And really, just as moral people, um, we need to be able to listen to one another, to reach across the huge chasms. Right now, we may never be able to agree. And there are things that we can never agree on. There are things that we feel so passionately about. We can never agree, but we can agree to disagree and live and let live and get along with our friends and neighbors. And that's always been the American way. And it's not American not to do that. If you're doing that, that's uh, that's un-American. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. This uh, country was built on uh, on on at least after the Civil War, the coming together of disparate ideas and very opposing ideas and making a union that has lasted all this time and to break it apart now breaks my heart i could not agree more well when that project is finished i hope you'll come back and we'd love to do a feature on it and uh, get the word out on it i know it's going to be fantastic yeah we're getting ready i, I well, they've changed the release date i have a, uh, one of the songs from it which is um a song called summerland and it's about um the other side. It's about heaven. And um, I wrote it for my mother when she was getting ready to pass because I didn't want her to be afraid. And um, people uh, have responded to it very, very positively. It's, it's a happy song about passing over. We're so afraid, all of us, you know, fears the way we die, just like in the song, fears the way we die. But um, we don't have to be afraid. And that's what this song, Summerland, is all about. So it'll be released. I was going to release it in December, but I think they've changed their minds. I think they are now <laughs> releasing, uh, as you spoke about, the um, the first uh, record I ever made, my first attempt at recording. And, you know, having listened to it, I, you know, I, it's, it's not my most thrilling work, at least not for me. Um, but uh, the fans really seem to like it. People walk up at shows with this a uh, very old vinyl album, and uh, they they like some of it, so uh, they want me to 
sign it. And um, so we've released it again. And um, I hope your folks enjoy it. Well, we're going to play some of the songs tonight. It's a fabulous album, 1978 it was released. And the name in it, though, is not Lacey J. Dalton. It is your uh, your real married name at that time, Jill Croston. <laughs> right, right. I, I, this is very soon after that, in 1970, about 1980, I actually became officially Lacey Jill Dalton. My, I wanted to be Jill because I think I was probably 33 or 34, might have been even older at the time, and I had, you know, family and friends who knew me as Jill, so that is how the J came to be in Lacey J. Dalton. I wanted to keep Jill for anybody who knew me as Jill, and I still use that. My closest friends and family often call me Jill. They intertwine now with Lacey. I answer to just about anything Scottish, <laughs> you know, particularly around dinner time. Yes, you and me <laughs> both. No problem reaching me. Hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> well, this it's an interesting part of your of your musical history, and, and a lot of people may not be familiar with it, and, and you might come across the album and not recognize the name, but if you look at the picture, it's like, oh yeah, I know who that is. By the way... Um, Actually, do you think that, I think that picture doesn't even look like me. None of my, I think none of my album cover, covers, not one of them. Actually, they all look like, ten, they look like 14 different people. <laughs> I look at them and I go, how is this? the same as that and I, I don't know what I really look like I really I don't I look different a lot of times I look a lot like an Idaho potato in pictures I, those are not my favorites <laughs> Well, you are you look beautiful in person and I can attest to that. So we'll, <laughs> well thank you. We'll leave it at thank that. You. Make my day. Um while I'm on that subject of the album cover, who is the uh, older lady that is sitting next to you on the couch on the back cover? You know, everybody asks of that and I got her permission for the photograph. She was just, she, I, we took those photographs in this old hotel in Santa Cruz, California that had been there for probably 150 years. I don't think it's there anymore. I think it, in the earthquake, I think we lost the Santa Cruz Hotel. But um, we were sitting in there and this lady was just sitting there and she was just relaxing and she just looked so peaceful. And I said, would you mind if we have you in the picture for the, for the back of the record? Wow. And she said, no, I'd like it. And so she, you know, there she was, a salt-of-the-earth person. And that's kind of the image I wanted to portray. Always, um, I never really was out much of a rhinestone. I tried to be <laughs> during, the, during the urban cowboy base. I tried to be kind of rhinestone but, it, you know, I'm better in a flannel shirt and blue jeans, <laughs> to be truthful. <laughs> and... Um, and that, and then that shirt. You know, I still wear the same kind of clothes that I had on that album. You know, blue jeans and boots, yep. and 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 uh, you'll pretty much find me at this time of year in a flannel shirt of some kind. <laughs> that's, you, you know, that's just how it is. And now that I'm doing singer songwriter stuff, that's a very uh, it fits that genre, um, and I can absolutely be who I am uh, in the music and and in the and, and what I wear. And, and so on. I'm happy that there that uh, the Star Vista was interested in this first uh, record. I hope that people enjoy it. It's I don't think of it as my best work. I certainly do not. And there are some vocal textures that I use on this record that I never use anymore. Um, I was listening to you know artists like Ma Rainey and Big Mama Thornton and some of the uh, wonderful black singers with these big voices. You know, uh, Mahalia Jackson type voices, uh, and I actually used. I like to use different textures when I'm singing, and you'll hear a lot of different textures on this because I hadn't really decided who I was going to be vocally. I was still learning, and I always am. And of course, Lacey wrote and co-wrote the lion's share of the songs on this project, her debut album, Jill Croston, from 1978. And the song I Threw It All Away, which we debuted on the My Kind of Country Facebook page, was written by Bob Dylan. Great cut of that. And Lacey actually told me that that was the second cut. The first one, they had a technical difficulty with that and lost the original recording of that, so they had to redo it for this project. So I guess uh, all the technical difficulties kind of went hand in hand tonight. So again, our apologies for that. All right, the Jill Croston album is available to stream on all the major platforms, Amazon, Spotify, all those great places that we get our music. And you can get that information right on our Facebook page for My Kind of Country, and you can also go to LaceyJDalton.org. And we were very pleased to be able to debut 
I threw it all away on the My Kind of Country Facebook page, and we're going to play that one for you and some of the other great songs from this project as we continue. Fake his love, leave you in the way. 
makes me burn, burn, burn. Woman's got to trust her feelings 